Okay, uh, today I bought a 1985 VMAX. Uh, the, the the seller said that it doesn't have doesn't run. So what I did, I put a battery and make sure that it spins. So the motor spins. Uh, it looks like it, it is complete. This is a aftermarket cover, I think. It's a little bit uh, dusty, but it's all complete has everything he has like a tray or something um, I just bought it in, in the state of Kentucky um, it comes with uh, two tires I will take a look how are they so what I will do to this one uh, I will fix the brakes because the brakes doesn't have a it's, it's not working so I may need to refill it it looks like somebody was playing with with the brakes they are open maybe need to close it and pours give a good clean replace the oil uh, clean the air filters uh, fix some of the dents try to remove these uh, lines clean everything uh, the bike looks pretty clean uh, i mean no major scratches or something wrong with it so all the wiring uh, it was not running since three years ago so we will see how it goes uh, I will replace the coolant I will put some uh, also I will lubricate I will remove the the plugs and I will take a look uh, how they are I will replace all the fuel that is under the seat and make sure the brakes are working good and then put some starter fluid to see if it uh, starts right away. And also I will replace the battery. Got some problems here, but it should be okay. I will keep you updated. Okay, this is, uh, I just bought this uh, B Max 1985. Uh, it has almost 9,000 miles and it look, it was not having been used for four years. And as I see, the bike is pretty, pretty good. It doesn't start. So what I will start doing is to do a quick clean. I will use this product. Uh, to, it's a de degreaser so we will see how it goes uh, after it's clean uh, I will put it into the garage and see about the oil the coolant and what else is missing uh, for a fact I know that the, the gas inside is doesn't worth it so I will try to clean the tank as good as possible also I know that uh, there are no front brakes I will see what is the problem. It looks that is good. 8,980 miles. Uh, the battery is dead, so I have another battery. So, so let's see how it goes. Uh, I will put this uh, degreaser just to remove the degrees from all the the bike, and then I will wash it uh, with water. So we'll see. I'll be back with a with a hose.
Ahí voy a mordirse. I will remove this drill as well, or at least paint it black. And, and I thought the water was going to go away like a drain hole or not, but this doesn't, doesn't have it, so I will do it manually. Now I will dry it. I put some uh, starting fluid in the carbs so to see if it can start. Okay, so this is the battery that it has. Um, I don't know if that is going to work. I put it on a tender, uh, so hopefully it recovers a little bit of charge. Uh, this charger is a uh, Noco Genius. Gene, uh, Gene, it oh, maybe it's silent because it's. It's not steady, but we will see if it works. Uh, if the battery works, I will be able to put it there. If not, uh, I have another one, but it's wider. If not, I will buy a new one and, and, and try. Anyway, I will try. I'm going to go first to this thing that I'm going to ask for a car. So I will use it to this device. Uh, I will go to the next one. I will go to the next one. And this is for the next one. Well, I'm not going to be to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. i Honda has the oil in a place where you can see it like right here I can see that there is oil there, I don't know Okay. So it's not empty. So I will put the cover. So we have oil. We have coolant and then we don't have gas so I will, t I will take a look um, how to clean it because as I said it's dirty let me see if I can show here in the camera so the good news is empty but this shouldn't because when once when you have it full it, it prevents the rust so I will continue Okay, so a trick that I found in the internet is that if you do this for for some seconds, uh, you will have your your finger here with with a mark, and then you can go and compare which is the size of the wrench. And it works. What I want to see here is um, if there is a way that I can open the um, the tank or remove the hose. So I can put some gas and then shake and drain, shake and drain. And so I will see. Okay, so we have the brakes. It looks like it, they were working for the gas I don't see anything yet that I can remove in order to remove the tank oh my god it, it will be a difficult one because uh, you, I think you have to remove the rear tire that by the, by the by the way it came with two tires and one wheel I haven't seen them to see what is the shape but this they, they were, this one was flat 
but it looks like it's still good i just put some air and it's holding it for the last 30 minutes and we will see yeah but i don't i don't see where so what i will do i will pour some gas on it uh, and then um, it has a, a filter anyway um, here so it should filter everything before it goes to the before it goes to the to the fuel pump because it, this one has a fuel pump as it is under the carburetors This bottle is yellow, but uh, it has gas, not diesel. Oh, I almost forgot. I bought also also a treatment for the gas. I managed. This has all, uh, only nine thousand, but I will put some of these just to clean to try to clean the inside of the injectors and then put some gas i don't want to put too many but too much because this tank is about uh, four gallons gas we have oil we have uh, coolant original key and then but we don't have energy so I will see uh, how can I use this battery um, I have I've been thinking that maybe aside but because this is going to be tough to fit let me show you so this battery is about nine, 90 millimeters and this is like 70 so in order to fit it in it will be it, it, it's not going to happen i will find a way and then i will okay so what i'm doing now is i will put this battery here and, and hook the the energy the energy one And for the other side, I still thinking what to do. But what I think I'm thinking right now is just to hook a wire from negative to negative. Just make it happen very tight. So I will propose when I come back. Just so this is the void. The void I found is red. Come on. And this one. Okay. 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 Now I'm going to do this and grab it. Oh, this was this way. This is too tall. Um, I will see what to do. Let me. Okay. I know what to do. So I will raise the knot a bit. Ah. Okay, now it's there.
So I think it's there, it's tight. Uh, the next step is to see if we have current here. Yeah. The wire pump, uh, the, the pump, uh, I heard the pump. So this is very, very good news. Ah. Okay, so next step, uh, as I said before, um, I have the carb and throttle spray. It will help. I will also put the shock. Um, I had this used one, so I will use it first. Now is the moment of the through. It may not have any gas at all as well, so... I need to wait because maybe this is not the, the correct wire. This wire is, is very hot. This is this is okay, but this is smoking, so I need to do something different because this is not good. You see, it's melting. So, no idea, no good idea. So we close it, and then we start a, a different way. Maybe I just need to buy the correct battery because the other one is much bigger than this one, and so it may have more. Uh, kick to it or more CCA uh, cold crank uh, amperage but the good news is it is moving the motor runs or what I or spins what I will do now I will clean the the air filter uh, I will try to remove some of the gas and I will see if I can order a new battery uh, shouldn't be too expensive because I'm not going to, to buy anything fancy just a battery and Hopefully it goes good. I will keep you post. So uh, I actually ended buying a, a new battery. I, I'm charging it. In the meantime, what I will do, I will take a look in the air filter, and then I will take a look in the spark plugs to give a, just to take them out, clean them, and then put them back. This is very loose, so it's not grabbing anything. Just take the others. Okay, so this is the cover, we put the bolt there, and it seems that this is the filter, um, the filter looks like it's clean, but it's, oh no, this, are, this is bad, you see, how this is peeling, so the filter is, is done, has a lot of, yeah, as soon as, soon as you touch it, it's peeling, so that is not good because then everything is going to go to the carburetors and it's going to be bad. Uh, let me show you how good, how nice is this. Like the old cars, it has the four carburetors, and you can see some of this uh, material that is peeling off. So I, I will need to buy another one. A new feature. 
okay so this is for for this i will buy another one and see when it, i will i will have it back in the meantime what i will do i will clean this um, and also i will start with the, the spark plugs for this is just cleaning inside there is a little bit of oil uh, so hopefully the, the air filter is not too, too expensive also I found a little this a little bit loose I will take a look what is the problem Okay, so there is not too much to do as now with this. I will take a look. I, I will remove some of the sponge or filter elements that are still here because it's not good for the motor. Other than that, it looks good, it looks clean, it looks like no, there is no problem at all, so you see, it's clean, I'm not going to mess with the carburetors yet, if it works, it works. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to remove the the sparks, the, the plugs, the how it look. I don't know the the And then after I do this, I'm not going to to say, uh, to film the other ones because it will be basically the same process. Okay, they don't look too bad. So, okay, um, I also will check the opening of this. Um, I have the model, uh, the service model, so I will take a look and then measure them. Okay, now what I will do is with sandpaper and um, I will clean the the spark plug. Maybe later I will buy a new one. Uh, I think they are not too expensive, so for the moment this will help to to have a, a better spark. Okay, once it's done, what I always do is to put a little bit of car cleaner because it will clean any kind of debris or whatever is inside. And then we just let it dry. It will dry pretty fast because it's kind of uh, drier than gasoline. I will clean all, also all the thread. This one uh, is for when the motor has been sitting or stored, so you can use it's kind of oily uh, fluid that I will put um, inside the, the cylinder um, you can use these ones also when you are going to do a, a winter is winterization to your truck or car or motorcycle so be careful that this 
Uh, straw doesn't go inside. I, it happened to me one time. So I will hold it. No, sorry. I will hold it with my hand so it doesn't fail. So that's for this one. Oh, and last but not least, uh, according to the book, it has to be 0 0.8, 0 0.9 of a millimeter. Uh, the opening of the uh, the opening of the spark. So I will go and get 0 0.8. So you have 0 0.10. So it's 0.8 of a millimeter to 0.9. So I have to make my numbers. Let's say 0 0.25, 0 0.58, so 0 0.6, 0 0.23. So this one will be a good average. I'm sorry, I was not showing. So it is. Is 0.6 and 0.2. Point, oh, I'm sorry. Point, point, oh, this is 0.6 of a millimeter. So I need um, to make the math, but these are very tight. So, so it's 0 0.5, 0 0.55, 0 0.40, 0 0.43. So I will. Oh my god, these are tight. That's why I cannot, and then my hands are greasy. So I will use uh, 0 0.40 plus 0.43 is 0.83. It's almost on the average of the opening. So both both of them together with the spark plug. What we will do is to use to make sure that this fit here. And as we see, it's a little bit close. Or so I will open it with the same shim just to make sure that it fits so now we we have a 0.83 opening so this will help to have a, a spark in the it's a little bit a little bit tight so i will, I will make a, a little twist just to open it but now it's kind of free so it's good you can also put this and then do small hits with some kind of metal just to close it a, a bit so it's tight i think it's good for me okay now the the next step is to put it uh, back together um, to the same place be careful with the torque that you use because this has a um, aluminum heads so if you go very tight you will have a problem you can strip the the threads and yeah all right so be careful i will stop here and then continue with i will do the other three the same way and then go to the battery to see if it's is ready or charged for the moment yeah. the red still red this is blinking so I'm waiting for that to charge the new battery so 2 a.m. Uh, new battery coolant all is there I haven't changed it yet I fixed the I removed some of the things that I did on the um, <laughs> I am getting gas from the after the filter so I will take a look uh, here I will remove this
I will move this hose just to see if we have gas here. It doesn't look like, like we have gas. Maybe we are not pumping in, in gas to the system. I will do something that I'm just thinking. I'm, I will put some of this. Oh. So I think that we are not having gas. So what I will do, I will remove the, the, this cover and then see if I can get uh, yeah. some spark from the, uh, with the starter fluid. Okay, uh, we're going to continue. We're going to do a drain of the, of the clutch um, for the VMAX 1985. As we can see, the reservoir is almost empty. The clutch is still working or still tight. Um, so what we're going to do, so I put some towels in order to cover and avoid any kind of a spill for the fluid, brake fluid, because it, it is uh, very, it can damage the, the, the paint, even if I don't have any paint anymore right, over there. Uh, also, I will use this uh, dot four fluid, it's castor, uh, so it should be okay. So first step, um, so the tools that I have, um, I have a screwdriver, flat screwdriver. I don't have an eight millimeters, but this is a, a five six sixteenths that will work perfect. Um, the, also, I'm sorry for the tools. Uh, I had this from China or from Shane or th those companies. So it doesn't work. I don't know. Uh, this doesn't flow. It has an arrow. So of the flow. So what I will do? I saw another YouTube video that was very helpful. So what I will do? I will remove this, this the long hose remove it from here and then connect it to a, a sprayer I will use the other end that is narrow or more tight uh, okay then with pliers I will make sure that this is tight okay now that is tight uh, here it doesn't move and shouldn't have any leak what I will do, I will plug this end and then spray the, all the the oil or the fluid. Um, as we can see here, this is the area where the clutch is. We don't have a, so we have to remove this cover for the side. And, and if we can take a look, we have here is the valve and the, the 516 fits good with no problem so what, I, what we will do is to push the, the leveler and loose and then tight loose tight loose until we see that we don't have any more loop but all, i also saw in internet that uh, in youtube that is it would be good to put the new fluid and then see when it's coming clear through the lines and then we we can start um flushing and then making sure that it's, it's, it's full. Uh, so first steps, we have to... So we have to make sure that this is... Uh, the screwdriver is tight, it doesn't have nothing. Uh, it's not loose because these bolts, you don't want to damage them. So you see, it's easy to, to turn, to turn. Now we're going to take a look at the next one. What we're going to do is that, uh, to refill and then drain. We don't want to make uh, like a uh, we don't have to go there between lines, so we'll do this first here. We can see that here in order to pop up. Okay, we can do the different sides, we can do this. See, this is the first, so we'll do that first here, we can do this. This is the first, and that's the first, so we'll do this, and this is 
Okay, so that, that is working. I will take a look out uh, in the reservoir. So it's basically it's empty. What I will do, I will cover this with this. So it doesn't go nothing, no, nothing goes into the, into the channel. So now I have some This is like very fine uh, 600 We don't we don't want to go very deep and uh, we just want to remove the the So just with a, a small a little one I'm sorry, I need some water because this will work with water. Okay, so. I am I'm using a 600 uh, grit uh, I think that you can go a little bit more but it's okay So now, now we have this uh, this ready. Um, we, I what I did. Uh, something happened with my video. So what I did, I clean it inside. Uh, 
and I have to to dry dry it uh, from every. I clean the gasket as well. So I'm cleaning here that there is no humidity or, or water. So just be careful because then if it breaks, you have you need a new one. So here, this is clean. The Yamaha cover. Um, you can use dot. Oh, I cannot see the where. Dot three or better. Okay, I will use dot four. But this year we didn't have the dot three, so dot dot four is, is, should be good. Okay, so now well, I'm going to remove this, and as we can see, we have some areas that we need to clean to make sure that there is no dirt inside. We'll use the screwdriver in order to go to other corners. Okay, so it's clean off. Now I will pour some of it. Okay, then we can It should be the cover, yes. And cut it. Now, what we have to do is to put this back on the space where I will refill. Full. I almost finished the bottom. So make sure that it's sitting correctly. Put the bolts. If you want to take the time to paint the cover again, oh, it's fine. I, I, I don't think it's too bad. It's just 1995, so let's go. I didn't tie that one yet because I want to make sure that we are even and that we don't have nothing between the gaskets like the towel so okay so that's it for this video let me know any questions 
Okay, so what I did, I replaced the oil, the oil filter. I put a KNN filter. I put Yamalube as well, mineral oil. And then I'm going for a, a fuel pump. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put some fuel that I put in this bottle and some uh, starter fluid and see if this starts. I'm putting the shock, plugging the hose with the gasoline. I will push a little bit and see how it goes. Okay, in my journey to do this bike nicer, better, um, so I did the, the battery, I changed the battery, I changed the oil, the oil filter, um, waiting for a fuel pump, uh, and I have this product from Mothers, it's for aluminum polish, so you will see how this look, and I will do this one first. And then this one, but I will use this one um, to clean it, to buff it with a, a drill. So with my hands, I just do this. And just put it all over. You, you don't need any special rag or microfiber. The ones that I have is from Harbor Freight for free when you buy something, so it shouldn't be that much. So, okay. So I will clean my finger here. Okay, now let's do it. Be careful with this. It took like two minutes and you can see the difference. You can see my leg, nothing.
Okay, I will do the other one, and then in the same process. Okay, uh, today we are going to do uh, to re to change the the brake pads. Um, basically, all the brakes are the same, so I will do this for this one, and then uh, it will be the same procedure for the uh, left and right, and also the rear one. Um, also, I got some goodies today in the mail. Uh, this is for the card and transmission, for the for the brakes, spark plugs, thirteen dollars, five, six dollars, uh, nine dollars. These filters are from from Caltric, ten dollars for two. So as you can see, this uh, fuel filter is pretty dirty. When I did it, you can see some some of the mud or whatever is inside. Also, I got my license plate from Kentucky uh, that is going to be uh, a historic plate. Okay, so here. Okay, so be careful when when you're when I'm sorry when you remove the the, the brakes or the, or the brake pads. Um, I bought the the, the the pads. I bought it from Amazon. Oh, wow, where I left it. Okay, so I bought from EBC uh, three sets, all are the same. And these are organic brake pads because I don't want to go with something very hard on the disc. I don't, I don't think they are too too thick, so I, I just want to take care of the rotors. I don't know where, where can I find them. Other thing, um, I did, did this device before. So it's, it helps to to rotate the, the the tire or the wheel, but I also want you to to see that I, I did some cleaning. So you can see this this area is clean, and this is oily. So I will use some products in order to clean. Uh, I already clean some, so I have a. I brought uh, that is for for brakes. I bought it in Arizona. So you may want to put something in underneath, just to take care of the paint. But yeah, this is not good. We have we need to have this. Uh, Free of grease, oil, because if not, the, the brakes are not going to work properly. Has to go both both ways. Sorry, my device may not be very good, but it works. It works. So make sure that these brakes are are clean, free from grease, oil, or dirt. I think they look better now. So now, the next step uh, that we we will do, you have to wait. Uh, the easy and the best way to do it is just to. To remove this cap, don't put a, a screwdriver. Don't do the mistake that I did in the other brake. Just to to try, uh, because you, you you can you can put a screwdriver here and then do leverage on it, like doing trying to remove it from here. So 
So don't do that. The, the only thing that you have to do is push from the inner and push and, and pull it. So now we have it. Also, other mistake that I did in the other one, I, I tried to to torque or to unscrew these ones, and these ones are not. Uh, I will put a flashlight. Okay, I just put a light. So as we can see here, we have a, a hair clip. So what we are going to do is just to pull it. So this one has a special shape. It's a hair clip with a, a bend. And then we, we will do the same with the other one. And then with um, with pliers, we, just, we can just pull these ones. Would be easy. And this is like the retainer for the for the brake pads. And then we can pull them. These brakes were not working. Are not working yet because um, I think the old owner were. Oh, I'm sorry. We're doing some kind of um, fix and he didn't finish. So what I will do, I will do a little bit of debrash just to push the... This in. We want to move the cylinders to the... to compress them. So we can pull the the brake pad. I feel a bit a bit tight. I will try to find a leverage point, but I need to move the camera. What I see is that this one is almost ready to, to go out. I just still, I still want to put some move some to push the cylinders back because the the new pads will be uh, thicker. So that's why. So we, we have one here that is almost done. Let me show you a new one. So we can tell the difference, right? Maybe this one were very hard on the disc, on the rotor. I don't know what kind of material, but they look like sinter, sinterized material. So. is also bad and um, you see all the grease so that's why he didn't have any good brakes so in order to replace the the new ones we just need to do the to replace them in the position but what i will do in order to do it to do this better because i see that there is some uh, dirt inside um, okay i will put this and push it push the cylinder I don't know how to do this, uh, but basically we need to put the cylinder back to the inside of the uh, caliper. We have to go even. Be careful not to bend the, the rotor. So you can do little movements of... 
Okay. Um, so that that's one way. The other thing that I will do, even if is if I I was not showing this, I will remove the caliper because it's going to be easier to work on it and to clean and to do a better clean in this one. This looks like they are oily. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, I will clean them both, both of them. No, when I remove the other brake, the other caliper, this one uh, was loose in the other side. So I think, that, as I said, he was playing with these um, calipers and then he didn't finish. Okay, so now it's time, time to clean. Um, okay, so we have the, here the the caliper, a little bit up more available for me. What I will do, I will put um, a rag and do some cleaning um, from outside. And inside, that's fucking lap. I'm sorry. This is a follow video again, as I said before. We can see that the caliper has um, some dirt. inside the, the cylinder so okay I, I saw um, what I will do I will put the pins again with the calipers in order to to try to do some leverage and retract the and retract the cylinders Okay, so now um, I will use the I'm pushing them against each other in order to to contract to compress them. I think it's, it's working, so that's good. You have to go even. If, if I don't do it, uh, it's not. I'm, I'm go not going to be able to put the new brake pads. So now I will try to use something wider. Just to. There are some pliers that you can buy, I think, for this situation. I just don't have those tools.
Easy is better. Okay, now it's much better. More easier. <coughs> you see, one is already com compressed. Now maybe I can use these pliers. I think it's almost, almost. Okay, uh, I will put pause. I will keep pushing them so they go to this bottom. So I don't entertain you that much. I saw another video in the internet that you can use that like two wrenches and then use them like this against each other. And we may get some luck. Okay, I think it's pretty good. Okay, so we were able to do the leverage with the two wrenches, and so now we can remove this one. We don't need them anymore. So now we see that they are contract or that they're in back. Now I can do some cleaning here. Be careful with this product, this is uh, this, this can damage paint or or color, you can make it more satin. So use your safety equipment or glasses, but this can be nice and okay. Okay, This is very important that they are aligned because if not, the, the thing is not going to do it. Uh, this was, I think, this way. If not, I will find out very fast. So what we can do is we start with one, we lock the, okay, now it's, this is here. We'll put the other pin. One is there, and then we have to push a little bit just to, to make sure that make it go. So now we see that these are bottom, bottom, and then we have these brakes. Um, what it's doing, what it is doing is just keeping the, the brake pads in, in position, and as you can see, uh, they are. Now we have to make sure that we put the the hairpins on it. I cannot see very good from where I am, so I will start rotating these ones. I think I see it. This one. Then I, I don't see the other one. I'm sorry for covering, but I just need to put this. Oh, as you can see, I put it backwards. 
this has to go to the other side. Uh, the phone and just make it difficult. Now it's there. We can double check, making sure that it doesn't go out. That is the only work that it does. Let me get a mirror. Okay, this is basically for me because I'm looking for where to, where is this, uh, the hole. So I can turn it. Okay, I think it, that's, it, that's where it is. So now I will... I have this long, long neck pliers. Okay, now it's there. Now we can put the cover. I will do a cleaning to the cover as well. I will double check the video just to make sure that this end goes here or if it has to go to the other side. I see a little bit that is not centered, but it's take is in contact with everything, um, and I think it's it's okay because it, what it does is just to guide that everything is tight always all the time and doesn't make noise. So now, now that that so this break is done. Where oh. This is this is this cap is is broke. I think that's why it keeps uh, going out. You see, here is open. I will see if I can get some in Amazon. For the moment, it's covered. Okay, so that's for the brake. Then we have to do the drain system or to to push and bleed. So for that, uh, it's, it's going to be the same procedure, procedure as we did with the uh, clutch. Okay, so I just saw my video again, and I found that this has to go the other way. I mean, this long part has to go in the other way. So I will remove the clips, the hair clips. And I think I just need to remove one. No? Stay. It will jump. So now, this one. Oh my god, just being with one hand is. It's difficult. And I will put the this hole already up. So I just go. Yeah, now it looks better. Like it's sitting in a better position. So that's it. Okay, uh, so I w now I will replace the oil of the gear shaft. So according to the book, we have to use 200 milliliters of the of oil. So I will fill this one. 
with um, this product that I just bought. It has good reviews in Amazon. So, okay, first we have to remove the. the bolt this is a 19 millimeters Look how dirty it is. Way too dirty. Wow. I think that last owner they put it a lot of oil and it's way too much. And also it's black. So so now the other one is the, the one the, the bolt on the bottom. Oops, so tight that I broke the glass, the container, and everything. Uh, I will put a pause to clean this because I don't know why it shouldn't be that I didn't cut anything. Why is it so tight? Hopefully, I lose it. Yes, it is now it's loose, but yeah, I have glass uh, all over. Okay, I will put a pause, clean this mess, and bring another container. I'm going to put a, another container, but take a look how dirty is this oil. I don't know why. Um, it shouldn't be like that. So. So what I'm doing is I'm going to clean here, but it's so dark. I'm I'm glad I, I did it. So now what I will do is I'm going to lose the bolt, but you will see. This oil that is coming is going to be way too dark. It's coming. Oh my god. It should have only 200 millimeters or cc's uh, of oil and this I think was plenty, was way too much. So what I will do, I will put some kind of, um, I don't know how to hold this. This also, this plug has a magnetic uh, thing. So 
So I will take a look. It has some magnetic debris, so hopefully it's not a problem. But and as I bought a, a quarter of a liter of a gallon, it's a liter. So yeah, it has magnetic things. Hopefully it's not warm. But what I will do, I will replace the oil. I will do some flushing and and then I will buy another, uh, replace the oil in maybe uh, 100 miles or whatever, just to have it uh, clean because this is not acceptable. It's, it's quite too bad. Uh, I'm cleaning the bolt right now. What I will do, uh, Cleaning right now here. I think I, 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 I will, I'm going to put the the cap again, and now I have it clean. No, it's not that clean. Sorry. So I will put a, a little bit of Teflon tape. Just to avoid, avoid any leaks. I will do an, a second clean just to make sure that there is nothing here. As you can see, uh, the oil is way too black, so something was not right here. Wow. I just came to get more towels. This floor used to be here in my house. So when we remove it and change for another one, uh, I took all the boards and put them here. Make sure that you don't have oil in, in your on your tires you know, because it can be a slippery. Okay, so now we know that so dirty so what i will do i will fill this bottle uh, to 200 millimeters according to, according to the book it will be till here You see how clear is the oil? 200. 
And as I said, I will replace the oil in maybe 100 miles once it's, it's working. But take a look, it's so clean. Okay, now what I will do, I'm just going to fill it up. Take a look, very clean. Two hundred millimeters, uh, cc's. Too much oil is not too good because it's like uh, all the gears are moving in, in water or in, in this case oil so it makes it more difficult if you have just enough is is good but if you have too much it's like you don't have room uh, how to move inside so okay so i think is there still full i think but that's what the book says so i'm just doing it uh, here's the bolt i think it's 200 is when it's new or totally empty i will clean a little bit of it And also, if you see, um, this level is the half of the transmission, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm sorry, I was looking at the camera instead of looking at my hand. Okay, so this is for the gear case. Uh, as I said, I, I will take a look again in 100 miles after it's running. So today I got uh, some toys from Partzilla, uh, basically for my to make it run and make it nicer. Sorry, this is uh, the fuel, the fuel pump, an air filter, everything from Parcilla.com. Uh, uh, here's the things: fuel pump, a uh, fuel filter. Um, so the filter from Yamaha. This is the important thing. So I got the fuel, the filter. I have this for my um, right. As you can see, it's broke. So I'm replacing that with this one, a new one. I have this. This is a a filter for a small one. I have the for the shifter on the other side. I have the the cap for the other side as well because this one is is it's like this one, but this one uh, the other one was uh, scratched. But the big one is this. So let's see.
also from Yamaha. OEM part. Not the cheap ones from eBay. Or so this is a 1FK1390702. Um, this fuel pump is, as I said, is the original one. Um, here is the outlet, the inlet. As you can see, this one is, um, is the, the OD or outside diameter is bigger than this one. So this is when it pulls gas and then it, this is when it goes to the gas. So I'm not going to show how to start it because basically it's, it's put it back in place in the bike and it will be a, a very long video, but I will take a look. And then also I have the original uh, fuel filter and we'll continue with this. So I will come back. Uh, and the OEM filter, the, the reason that I decided to buy an OEM filter as also the, the fuel gas, the, the, the fuel filter is because they have more microns to filter the, the gas. And as I have a, a little bit of rust in the, in, the, uh, in the tank, I just want to make sure that everything is good. You see, this, this quality looks good, very clean. So, okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I just finished the project. I have some things to put anyway, uh, I will show you. But basically, uh, I will replace the, the mirrors that this, this has a little bit of rust. Um, and also this one has uh, some scratches. So what I did, I replaced both levelers. Uh, I replaced the fuel, no, I'm sorry, the, uh, the window or the side for a new one. I replace it. I make sure that it was not leaking. Um, once after I replace the the brake or fluid, I also pumped a little bit so it doesn't have like inner pressure. So I, I will refill it a little bit more. But I replace that side. I replace both uh, brake pads. Uh, clean the rotors. Uh, replace them. Uh, tight every all the hoses and also uh, porch all the, the fluid. I also bought the grill, the radiator cover grills from a used one at Amazon, also the grill on the other side. Um, here I purge uh, pure all the fluid from the clutch, um, replace the air filter for a Yamaha brand, I bought a nice keychain for the bike. Um, underneath, uh, I replaced also all the oil flush, all the, the coolant, and put new one. Uh, replace the battery, 
replace the fuel pump and it's working great now uh, all clean uh, also I replay uh, clean this cover for, for the exhaust I replaced twice the fluid for, uh, or the oil because when I took the first time you can see how black it wa was was all dirty and I replaced it for a new one 200 milliliters and then a uh, ride is a little bit and then replace again next steps is to clean the wheels and replace the tires i believe that, that these tires are the original ones because these don't even have a date on when when they were made and they start putting dates on the wheels after 2000 uh, also replace both um, the, the the pads for for the brake pads for this one clean the the rotor uh, the caps i replace them all i haven't cleaned this cover for the exhaust i have this the one that is broke so i, I would replace for a new one and from this side uh, just did some cleaning carburetors also for the gas uh, for the tank uh, i clean it flush it and everything was clean inside uh, I, I, it had some rust but it was cleaned uh, also i will replace this one for the shifter i have a new one so basically this is it and the bike is turn, uh, turns pretty good no problem a little bit of shock And then I did some some rear tire spinning because I would replace them anyway. But it's a nice bike. Okay, so let me know your comments. Uh, like my video, watch it, and thank you for looking. Thank you for watching.